I'm at Harvard University presenting my AI research on Shark Tank. Imagine you're an investor deciding to give me millions of dollars. How do I know if you're actually interested in my idea or if you're just pretending to be? Since over 90% of communication is done through nonverbal measurements, the way I would do so is I would look at your body language and other variables to then determine how interested you are with a more holistic view. And so I made a program to do so, specifically with Shark Tank books. And so ultimately what the program is going to output, it's going to output different interest levels in different domains. And so from that I can determine bias and ultimately use this tool to mitigate bias while also funding the best ideas. And so how this works is I go through different episodes of Shark Tank and I only look at the parts where the sharks themselves are featured on camera. And I do a bunch of, and to analyze the body language, I do pose detection. I took those coordinates of the body positions and I put them into a convolutional neural network I've built, which then outputs an interest level at that moment in time. I graph the interest levels over time and then I aggregate them to get one single value for all the sharks as well as each value is for individual sharks. And that's how I get the positivity score for the body language. The facial positivity also works the same way. I look at how the sharks' facial emotions are and then that determines their positivity. For the audio, I look at the tone of how the sharks are speaking. So not only what they're saying, but how they're saying could also influence their decision making. And so I do the same thing. I cut out only parts where the sharks are speaking. And then I put that also into a model I made, the convolutional neural network, which then outputs the vocal emotion. And then I graph that over time and do the same thing. Verbal positivity is the easiest. That's just the transcript of the show. I do the same thing here. And then once I get these different, four different interest levels, what I can do is for each episode, I can then run a series of correlations with these variables as well as different variables from the show. The three variables we're interested in this study is the gender, the race of the entrepreneur, as well as the timing of the episode. So when the episode was released, in case there's a bias against like restaurants during COVID, for example, that's something we want to identify. And so bias exists when there is a, a very strong negative correlation between any of these variables, as well as the variables from the show. A strong positive correlation would mean a strong positive bias, but we're more looking towards negative bias. And so that negative correlation is how exactly we quantify bias. And if, if you really think about it, if during an interview, you wanna know how interested your interviewer was in you, this is the soft, same software tool could be applied. And to not only determine how interested they are in real time and quantify it so that you can adjust yourself to maximize your chance of getting the job offer, but also to determine if their decision in hiring you or not hiring you was a biased decision. And so with that in mind, if we can quantify bias, we can then obviously mitigate. And if we can mitigate bias, we can stop bias from gatekeeping talented people from achieving their dreams.